Howdy guys, I'm a sophomore this year on ADT. My name is Naya for those of y'all who don't know me. Um, today what we're gonna be doing is taking you guys along on a ADT workout. Um, this is an at-home workout, so for those of y'all who are in quarantine or just don't feel like driving to the gym, this is a perfect workout for y'all and it'll give y'all a little bit more insight into how ADT works out. So first, make sure you guys are stretched and warmed up. I'm gonna do a couple stretches and y'all can just like follow along with me or just do your own stretches. So we're gonna get started with that. Make sure y'all are really stretching out your legs for this workout. We're gonna go to a lunge now. Make sure you're really pushing your hips down to the ground. All right, move to the front. You really wanna get a good stretch for those legs. And switch sides. And left lunge. you guys have stretched out your legs let's start um, we're gonna go on the floor and do a butterfly so go ahead and sit down get your legs into a butterfly and really really push your knees down into the concrete and pull forward all right let's extend one leg out reach down to that foot Make sure you're trying to get your belly button down to the ground. All right, and left side. All right, y'all, so do whatever other stretches you need to to warm up, and we're gonna go ahead and get started with the workout for today. Um, so Amy sent us an Excel sheet and we'll probably end up posting it so you guys can follow along too. But our first workout for today is going to be 40 backpack front squats. So make sure you guys have a backpack with y'all that's heavy enough for squats and then you'll be taking stuff in and out of it just depending on like how much of a workout you want to get. So let's start with that. I have my ABT backpack with me and we're going to start with 40 front squats. So you're going to take the backpack straps, put it on the front of your body and we're going to do 40 squats. Make sure y'all are really, really pressing down into those legs with these. All right. Once y'all get your 40 reps in, go ahead and take a couple seconds to rest. Our next one is gonna be backpack RDLs. Um, make sure with RDLs that you're keeping your knees slightly bent. You don't wanna be keeping your legs straight the whole entire time. We're gonna be doing 30 of those and that's with both feet. So once you get a couple seconds to rest, grab your backpack and we'll do RDLs. So same thing, make sure it's on the front of you and make sure you have a little bit of weight with this one.
So once you get your 30 reps done, go ahead and take a break. Again, make sure with RDLs that you're keeping those legs bent and that you're squeezing all the way in your butt muscles. You should not be feeling it in your back when you're doing those. All right, so our next one is gonna be hand release push-ups. You have 21 of those. So you can either choose to do knees on the ground or knees up. Um, I'm gonna go with knees up just to kind of see how it feels and then we'll go from there. Make sure that you go all the way down to the ground, release your hands all the way up and then push all the way up to a full push-up. So I will show you all how to do that and let's get started. So we're doing 21 of these. So once you have your 21, go ahead and take a break, get a sip of water, kind of let that marinate for a bit. I know those are a little bit harder. Um, make sure with those push-ups that you're not rolling your body up. I know once you get further in reps, it'll be a little bit harder to do that, but just make sure that y'all are keeping your body straight. All right, so once you've had a little bit of rest, we're gonna be doing Russian twists. Um, this is gonna be working our abs, so kind of get ready for that. Um, we're doing 25, on each side, which is total of 50. So go ahead and sit down, take a rest. As you can tell, I'm out of breath. So I'm gonna take a couple of seconds to rest as you should too. And we'll get started with our, our uh, Russian twists. All right, so with Russian twists, make sure you're angled a little bit further back. Your legs should be staying straight the whole entire time. Make sure they're not rocking back and forth with your body as you're going. That'll work your core a little bit more and keep you centered. So after your 50 reps, take a second to rest. Um, make sure that if you were wanting to get a little bit more of a workout, feel free to grab some dumbbells if they're available to you. Um, you can grab a milk jug, anything like that that has a little bit of weight to it. If you wanna make it a little bit harder for yourself, just go ahead and do that. Next, we're going to be doing split squat jumps. So we're gonna be doing 12 on each side, alternating reps is optional. So split squat jumps, you basically are gonna start in a position like this and then you're gonna jump up and then land in the other squat position. So we're doing 12 on each side with a total of 24. Once your 24 is done, go ahead again, take a rest. Make sure that you're taking breaks between each set. Um, it'll give you your body time to recover. Just don't go too fast with it. Um, okay, so once we're done with split squat jumps, we're gonna do shoulder taps. You're gonna be in a plank position and you're gonna be tapping your shoulders back and forth with a total of 40. But again, give yourself a second to rest.
right, once you had a minute to rest, we're gonna go ahead and get started. So get in that plank position, we're gonna do 20 on each side with a total of 40. So once you're done your shoulder taps, go ahead, take another second. Um, make sure with your shoulder taps on your plank position that you're not rocking your body back and forth. You wanna make sure that your core is engaged the whole entire time. Alrighty, so for our next one, we're gonna be kettlebell swings with backpacks. So since y'all um, probably doing this workout at home, you don't have any dumbbells, kettlebells. I mean, if you do, that's great, use those. If you don't, grab anything that's a little bit more heavy. Um, I have a backpack, so we're gonna be using that. Um, make sure with kettlebell swings, you're getting to a really good squat. And when you come up, you wanna squeeze your butt muscles, not use your back, not use your arms, anything like that. It should all be coming from your legs. So when you squeeze down, you wanna make sure that all of your leg muscles are engaged. When you swing it up, you should feel that in your butt and your hamstrings. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. With kettlebell swings, we have 25 total. So let's go ahead and get started with that. All right, so get in that nice squat. Remember, squeeze all your butt muscles. You can come up, don't use your back of your arms. Once you have your 25 reps in, go ahead and take a second to rest. Catch your breath, drink some water, all that fun stuff. Next, we're gonna be doing walking lunges. Um, this is gonna be 60 total. Since I'm in a small space and I wanna be in the camera the whole entire time, I'm just gonna be doing alternating leg lunges. Um, Y'all can feel free to do whatever you want. So once you've had a minute to rest, we're gonna go ahead and do 30 on each side of total of 60.
All right, so you should definitely be out of breath after that one. There's a lot of reps. Um, definitely good for your quads. So make sure you're getting in a full squat every single time you go down. Again, you should be out of breath after that one. So next we're gonna have bear crawls. So bear crawls are very important because you need to make sure that in, you're in the right position. So let me demonstrate. For a bear crawl, you need to be completely parallel. Your back should be flat enough to where I can put a cup on your back. You should be walking, cup should stay on. So essentially what you're gonna be doing, you should be on all fours, back toes popped up, your butt should be down to where your back is level and you're gonna be inching across. And your back should be staying flat the whole entire time. So, back to our workout. We have 48 bear crawls, 24 on each side. So, I'm just gonna be coming back and forth. Um, I may switch my directions halfway through so y'all can see, but um, one step is one rep. So you should do a total of 48 steps. Um, let's see what else there is. Okay, so yeah, that's it for bear crawls. Let's go ahead and get started with that. Again, I'm gonna be going back and forth. I may switch my directions so y'all can see. Make sure your back stays flat the whole entire time. Alrighty, once you finish those, take a nice little break. If those of y'all who want to see it from the side, I'll do a couple from the side so y'all can kind of see what it's supposed to look like. Alright, so you should have a good look at what bear calls are supposed to look like. Make sure you hit out every one of those sets. There should be 48 total. Alright, so... Our next workout is gonna be backpack bent over rows. So this is gonna be an arm workout. Make sure your arms are all stretched. Do a couple arm stretches. So for example, fold across, other way. Reach your arm over your head. And switch. Make sure your arms are very, very stretched out for this. This is going to be a bicep workout. So you're going to grab your backpack, adjust the weight how you want. Um, with rows, it's going to be a little bit less weight just because you're not using your legs with this. You're just using your arms. Um, you're going to need to find a surface where you can put your other hand on. You should look something like this. So it should be like tabletop uh, height. And then you're going to be rowing like this. So I don't have one accessible to me, so I'm just going to be bent over. But for those of y'all who do, feel free to do so. So for these reps, let's see. We're gonna be doing 30 total. So that's gonna be 15 on each side. surface to put your hand on just put your hand on your knee and make sure that your back is flat all your power is coming from your arm all right and that finishes that set Y'all should definitely have broken a sweat by now. And just like I have, I'm definitely out of breath from that. Um, all right. Next, we're gonna have 
let's see yeah we did that okay next we have lateral lunges you're gonna do 48 each, which is 24 on each side. Basically, with a lateral lunges, you're gonna start with your feet together. You're gonna alternate right and left, or just do all right, all left, whichever one you wanna do. But basically, with a lateral lunges, you're gonna step out, make sure you get in a full squat position. Body should be centered right over your two legs. Get a real nice stretch in this quad, and you're gonna come back up. And then same with the other side. So we have a total of 48 reps again, 24 each side. So let's go ahead and get started with that. Once you get your 24, switch to the other side. All right, once you're done that sit, go ahead and take a rest. Grab some water, anything you may need. All right, next we're gonna have V-ups. This one's a little bit more challenging. We're getting towards the end of our workout. You're a little bit tired, but we can't be cheating these. So, for a V-up, pull this closer. You're gonna be laying down flat. Essentially what you're doing arms over your head is you're making a V shape up touching your toes coming all the way back down so that's a V up we're gonna have 30 reps of this so take your time with it if you need to take breaks in between it's totally fine I'm sure I will too 30 V ups is a lot for just one rep so make sure that you're taking a lot of breaks I'll probably do 10 take a rest 10 take a rest 10 so if y'all want to do that too feel free to follow me Take a quick rest after your first 10. All right, let's start at X10. Make sure you're taking, taking deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. All right, and whenever you're ready, start your last 10.
nice job guys that one's definitely not an easy one v-ups are a little bit more challenging because it's a lot of ab strength so make sure you're engaging your abs the whole entire time you're coming up on those v-ups don't let your legs bend don't do a noodle make sure you're coming up straight with your arms and your legs don't do this little flop thing because that's definitely not going to help you all right so for our next one we have single leg rdls uh, you can add weight if you want for sure i'm gonna do without weight just because i don't have dumbbells or anything and backpacks a little bit hard to do rdls with um but feel free to add any weight if you want milk jugs water bottles anything like that um we have 48 total so it's gonna be 28 on each side again make sure with rdls that your legs are slightly bent you're not completely straight and you're not fully bent it's a little bit in between Once you're on your 24, I'm going to go ahead and move to the other side. You can stay facing whichever way you want. I'm just going to switch side for you. Switch the sides for y'all. <laughs> Again, make sure that your leg is slightly bent and you're flexing all the way through your hamstrings. good job y'all you should definitely feel a burn in your hamstrings with that one since it's a lot more reps i would recommend doing a little bit lighter weight on that um but again it's totally up to you all right so for our next one we have single leg glute bridges i'll show you how to do those in a second it's gonna be 48 24 with each legs make sure we're not alternating it's gonna be 24 on the right side 24 on the left side so with single leg glute bridges you want to make sure that you're getting your hips all the way up, stretching all the way through your hamstrings and getting a good burn in your butt and in your hamstrings. So I will show you how to do that. You're gonna be on your back. We're gonna start with our right leg, so right leg up. You're gonna extend all the way up. Make sure you're getting a good burn in your hamstrings and in your butt, pushing your hips all the way up to the sky and back down. You have 24 on each side.
right, once you're with the right side, go ahead and move on to your left side. Again, make sure you're pushing your hips all the way up to the ceiling. Nice job, guys. You should definitely feel a burn with that one. And we are getting close. We are almost done. Keep it up, guys. Next, we're going to have back head overhead press. So this one is going to work your triceps. Um, go ahead and move the weight a little bit more down with your triceps. Um, definitely shouldn't be lifting the same amount of weight in, in um, squats, RDLs, all that kind of stuff. You should definitely be doing less light with that. Um, so let's go ahead and move on to that. You're going to grab your backpack. Again, empty out some weight to make it a little bit lighter. All right. So you're going to grab your backpack by the top handle. Reach behind your back. Make sure that your elbow is in line with your spine. And you're going to push straight up and down. You have 15 reps on each side. So let's go ahead and get started. Once you finish your last set, go ahead and move to the other side. Again, make sure that your elbow is facing all the way up to the ceiling and line with your spine. Nice job, guys. Again, make sure with those that you're keeping your spine all the way up and your elbow in line with the spine so don't be doing slouching, arching, none of that. Also, make sure when you extend those reps that you're not pushing your elbow forward. Make sure you're keeping it straight up. You should feel it right in your tricep. All right. So, let's see here. For our last two workouts, we're going to be ending with squats. So, be ready to get out of breath again. You're going to have 20 jump squats. We'll take a little break after that and then we're gonna do 30 body weight squats after that. Um, it's up to y'all and whether or not you wanna add weight with that. I'm gonna keep it no weight just because there's a lot of reps on each. But again, totally up to you. Depends on how much you wanna sweat today. So let's start with 20 jump squats. It's gonna be continuous. Just make sure you're going all the way down that squat and all the way back up. Make sure you're extending a lot when you're uh, jumping up in the air. <laughs> let's get started. Go ahead and take a break after your 20. Just catch your breath, take deep breaths, go get water if you need. All right, guys, we're on our last workout of the day. So again, 30 body weight squats. You can add if you want. I would stick with no weight just because it's a lot of reps. But if you want to, you want to push yourself, totally go for it. All right, so we're doing 30 body weight squats.
Make sure you're breathing through all these exercises. guys once you got your 30 squats that is it um i'm gonna go ahead and lead y'all in a little bit of stretch if you don't want to want to do your own stretch feel free to leave but i highly highly recommend after every workout that you stretch so we'll do a little bit of stretch and then we will end it there all right so for our first stretch when you get into a pigeon make sure that your foot is not 90 degrees but a little bit further out towards um whichever wall you're facing. Make sure your hips are squared off and lean forward. Make sure you're getting a nice hip stretch. You should feel this in your butt and your hamstring. All right, and switch legs. Again, make sure your hips are squared off. You should be feeling a nice stretch with this. Make sure y'all are slowing your butt down too as you're doing these stretches. All right, you're gonna bring your feet right now in front of you. Reach over, grab your toes. Make sure you're breathing in and out. Excellent technique. <laughs> you doing great. Thank you, thank you. So for those of y'all who don't know, I do live in the DG house. <laughs> so <laughs> a lot of the people that have been coming in and out of here have just been house girls. Um, so this is kind of where I work out when we don't work out in person for dance team. So you're gonna grab your right foot, push it towards the camera, Big reach stretch. out with your other arm. Nice big stretch, you should feel this in your hamstring. And switch legs. All right, and for our last stretch, you're gonna go over in a child's pose. Make sure you're reaching your arms all the way out, switching your stomach into the ground. With each breath, pull yourself closer and closer to the ground. Reaching your arms further and further. All right, walk your hands over to the right. And walk them over to the left. slowly roll it up take nice deep breaths make sure if you need to stretch anything else out do that um thank you guys so much for joining me if y'all have any questions about the workout um feel free to ask me in the question box i can answer those for you guys um these are usually workouts that we do if we can't be together as a team and we usually have to be home so if y'all have a small space anything like that this is a great workout to do if you don't have that big workout gym or you just don't feel comfortable going out to the gym so again thank you guys so much for joining me if y'all have any questions feel free to ask and i'm about to go to class so it was nice to meet y'all